let's take up uh, one more concept that is first principles and SRP. Let's see that what it is. So first principle structures the test creation and create value of the test suits. Not all the first principle can be followed in UI testing. Use first principle as a long term guide to maintain a test suit. Let's see that what all those five principles are. Fast, isolated, independent, repeatable, self-validating, throw time B. So your test, whatever the test you are writing, it should be fast enough. So that's why we always discuss that wide use of thread.ly. Put explicit weight, put implicit weight, else you may be spending a lot of extra time. So better avoid this. Isolated independent. Minimize dependency between tests as far as possible. So there shouldn't be dependent, uh, you know, your test cases should not be dependent on each other. Because if one fails, it may be possible the other one will not run in that case. Okay, don't make your test case dependent on each other as much as possible. And also in your test case, insert at least one verification. Of course, you will be having that verification because that's a requirement. Repeatable. Configure test so that rerunning the test always give consistent result. We have to keep now our test cases separately in different different methods so that if even if we rerun, it won't impact you know the results. And of course, it will not impact and it actually does not impact to the size here. Validating. While writing the test, you should automate validation. As automation suits run without human intervention, don't assume any human intervention. So always whenever you are creating your framework, your test scripts, don't think that you will be providing some input to it. Never ever give any input to the, your test cases, to your uh, automation pack. Make it in such a way that it can be freely or it can be run in your absence as well. So what you will do, you will schedule it at 3 a.m. in the night and it will run and it will give you the results. You will have to make your test in such a way. Not that, that it requires your input. Like verification here, we are saying you should automate verification and all. So when you are opening up a website, you should verify whether it has actually opened or not. That is actually opening that particular URL or going to that URL or it is going to some other different URL. You need to verify all these things. Thoroughly, uh, thorough, timely, this is applicable to unit test. This test should be thorough in the terms of coverage. So when I say in the terms of coverage, you know guys, what happens in unit test cases? In unit testing, we write code. Okay, of course, in Selenium also we write code. And in code, we write some variables, we create some methods, some extra methods, some extra line of code as well. But if we write some extra line of code, that means the program will, once your program will get executed, execution time will be more. Correct? If you are adding some more things, if you are using objects which are not being used anywhere, if you are creating objects which are not used anywhere, if you are creating variables which are not being used anywhere, so of course Java, while executing Java, will take care of them and will see them. Correct? We'll go through, through those steps, which is of no use actually in your scripts. So here in terms of coverage, what it means is you should get the code coverage that you have written 100% of your, you know, you have written your complete code, but actually how much percent is being used? 50%, 60%, 70%. So there are some code coverage tools which you can use and can see that actually how much code is being used. So when you write your script, it may be possible that uh, the 50% of the script is only useful. 50% is, you know, it's completely not, is of no use. So when you get the coverage, code coverage report, you can see that which one is of no use and you can remove those extra lines. That's the benefit of code coverage. And it is applicable of unit test. It is applicable in Selenium as well. A very, very, very less people use this kind of a report. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.